I had this Google Cardboard clone in my basement for quite a while and had some fun with it with the iPhone. And just recently I got the idea that I could convert that into a first-person view goggle assembly for the Cheerson CX-10W. I'll, I also found this uh, nice rubber headband from one of the kids broken LED headlights and uh, I'll just use safety pins and attach those to the to the goggles now this, this very model is not available any longer on the market as far as I know but I put in a link to a very similar model from from Banggood down in the in the show notes it also it already does come with a strap so that should make things a little easier for you and it's it's still cheap for about four euros or something well once i have attached the headband we're more or less good to go i found it pretty hard to fly the the cheers and cx10w with with the app and it it worked better with the remote control and it, it is still compatible with the remote controls of the newer Chirsten CX-10 series. Now there's a better app for it, uh, which comes from uh, Lee Y technology. It's called Wi-Fi FPV. And if you have couple your iPhone with the drone and start that app, it gives you the usual view, but it comes with some extras. In this case, it comes with the 3D mode. Well, it's not really 3D because you only have one camera, but you get a, 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 an image for, for each eye when you put it into the goggles. Here's our little garden. We'll put it into the cardboard goggles. And next thing is we need to couple the drone to the uh, remote control. And that works as well. So we have both connected. It's uh, the video streams to the to the iPhone, and the control lies with the remote control, which makes it a lot easier to control than uh, fiddling with an iPhone. So I do the coupling here now. I've taken it outside. It's a beautiful autumn day. It's a bit on the cold side, around 10 degrees centigrade, and that already affects the lifetime of the lithium battery in the drone. So well, let's take off and take it out for a flight. And I found it very hard to to fly straight and to to know where I am with the drone. Uh, although I do hold a sport pilot's license and I think that my sense of direction is pretty good, I found it hard to know where the drone actually is. I, I still got some, some pretty nice shots out of it and it's, it, it is quite nice flying, but well, the, the video signal keeps breaking up and I crashed more than I, uh, than I really wanted and it was hard to locate the tiny drone on the grass. So I took it for another few flights. I, I guess I got around four to five minutes flight time out of it. And yeah, it, it, it crashed frequently. The, the video cut out from time to time. It's, it's, it's not easy. It, you basically get what you're paying for here. If you try the same and uh, want to share your experience, just leave a comment down below or if you have any other uh, suggestions for uh, low-cost, poor man's uh, first-person view drone flying. Bye for now.